All right, guys, it's Brandon here at Rustic Lumber Store, and I'm going to show you how we use our rustic lumber oil. We're gonna show you exactly here on this magnificent Perota table behind me on how to apply this oil. Uh, there we go, bam. This is our clear coat, so it's just gonna go on and we're gonna show off the natural colors that this uh, Perota table has. So this is a five to one ratio, right? So we're looking at it here. We went up to the 90 mil, and then we poured the hardener right on up here to the 100 mil. So here's the deal. When you're applying oil, as fun as it might look on social media, we don't wanna just pour the oil on here and take like a plastic card and push it all around. It's truly how you waste a lot of oil and just, it's not usually an even application or it can be done incorrectly and not have an even application. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you two different methods, right? We're gonna go the hand buff method and then we're gonna use my uh, Fez tool over here and really just buff it in. But I wanted to show you how this works. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just apply just a little bit of oil here. We're gonna take our microfiber towel, try to say that five times fast, and we're just going to apply and buff it in, rub it in. Now it probably needs more oil because Look guys, I've told you before, I'm not a pro, I'm not the, uh, the pro here. I am the marketing guy. But I can tell you now, as someone who I do not consider myself a woodworker, this is an easy process. Buff the oil into the wood very well, wiping over any dry spots to fully saturate the surface without pooling the oil. We recommend using these inexpensive white scuff woven pads on Amazon for the application. Okay, so now that I've shown you how to buff it in with just a microfiber towel, I'm gonna to also show you how to do it with this bad boy. Tim and Zach have found a new method that has made the buffing process a lot easier. So we're just gonna give it a shot. As a safety warning, do not ball up oil-soaked rags they can combust. Most oil rags will do that unless they're water-based. Always spread them out flat to dry overnight. By the next day, they should be dry enough to dispose like a normal cloth. We use a steel container for a safe disposal. After applying, let it sit for around 15 minutes. After around 15 minutes, use a clean microfiber cloth to buff off any residual oil. If you're looking for a higher sheen and better protection, consider applying a second coat. And don't forget, after three to five days of the last coat, follow up with our Hydro Coat for the best results. And that's how you oil your wooden furniture like a pro. And if you're looking for other varieties in oil colors, we have 11 different colors that you can choose from and create over 100 different custom shades. This rustic lumber oil is perfect for furniture, wooden surfaces, floors, and even toys. However, please note that our furniture oil is not rated for food preparation on charcuterie boards. We have a separate food safe oil for that on our website. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up and share it. For more expert advice, stay tuned to the Rustic Lumber Store YouTube channel. All right guys, and it's just that easy. Like I said, we've got a nice, good, even coat. We're gonna sit here and let this wait for the next 24, 48 hours, and then we'll apply a second coat. If you guys have any questions, feel free to message us or comment in the below. But yeah, that's how you apply the rustic lumber epoxy. No, just kidding. That's how you apply the rustic lumber furniture oil.